Hi there. Um, just doing a quick tutorial on how I'm planning on turning, uh, or turning rather, my Ryzen Threadripper uh, container box into an RGB lamp. So I got this little guy, it's called a Blink Stick. It's made by a company in the UK and they even sell this nifty little uh, 3D printed cube for it. And it just connects up by USB, which was pretty important for me in terms of I didn't want to have to like shove a Raspberry Pi or anything into there. Um, and the other nice thing is what I've already done so far is I've cut out a little, or not cut out, but traced out a little hole in the back where it will fit in. The goal being that with this inserted into the back, you will see a nice little glowing cube in the middle of this uh, Ryzen box. The other cool thing about this uh, cube is that you um, can program it basically to do anything. The Blink Stick uh, has libraries in Python, .NET, and a whole bunch of other languages. Works in Linux, Mac, whatever. So I can um, put a, uh, I can hook this up to my actual computer that runs Windows 10 and have a little thing running in the background. Can maybe even program this cube to give me notifications when I get an email or something crazy like that. Or I can hook it up to a Raspberry Pi and just have it sit there and make pretty RGB colors all day. Uh, I can even uh, hook it up to OpenHab via a Raspberry Pi and get this thing to notify me uh, about my uh, home automation stuff. So in general, this uh, little cube is very nice. Again, just a USB interface, works with any major operating system and has a number of programming languages. So you can do whatever you want with it or you can just have it sit here and make you know pretty RGB colors all day. Uh, the really important thing for this that I noticed is that if you look, um, the cube kind of shows up regardless of where it is in the middle. So I had thought about doing LED strips. I thought about getting like an LED panel. But in all cases, you would see like a very high definition um, outline of the LED strips or whatever's in there. This isn't frosted enough to obscure uh, what is exactly making the light. So whatever needed to make, or whatever is going to make the light had to be something that kind of uh, looks good uh, and pleasing to the eye, and that's where I ran across this little cube. So I'm going to, now that I have the outline of this traced out, um, cut this out, and then jam this guy in there. Then I'm gonna put this whole thing back together I even kept the wrapper that I plan to use. And what's nice is even if I tape down the wrapper and everything like that, um, if the cube breaks, it's fine because this is the exterior most uh, uh, surface of the Ryzen Threadripper box. So if my cube goes bad, you just pop it out and put in another one. You don't have to rewrap this thing to make it look good. So should just be a one-time uh, deconstruction and construction of this thing and I will have a nice little RGB lamp. Uh, we'll show you uh, the progress once it's uh, that little cubes cut out and everything's put back together. Alright so this is the final product. Well not final product, I still need to wrap, uh, rewrap it with the original wrapping but I basically drummed out the ugliest hole I could that would fit out or fit the uh, cube into the back of it. Then uh, I basically just had to put the thing back together. I mean, there was no extra special steps or anything like that that I needed to do to get this thing to uh, piece together uh, since it's just a hole in the very back of it that you put the cube in. And um, then I wrote up a very quick um, script uh, using a Windows Form app. I plan on expanding it. That's why I'm doing a Windows Form app. But this can be a console app or anything. And here's the core component. It just basically does this function called morph um, between red, green, and blue. And uh, this is using the dot, uh, .blinkstick.net uh, API. But again, you can basically uh, use any pipe or programming language you want. I'm just using .net because uh, I'm using Windows and I'm a big fan of that. So I'm going to hover on start 
and you will see the magic. And that's the thing that I didn't anticipate was if you get that cube centered in the back, the Z is directly centered in the cube. Um, it is a little bit crooked, but whatever, I'm not going to be looking directly at it. And you have a nice little pulsing lamp. So that pretty much covers it for uh, this demonstration. Uh, you'll notice, it's kind of hard to see, but I left the, f the processor cover off. Uh, because that would um, restrict the square and I wanted this whole area to light up uh, when the cube pulse. I just got to basically clean that off and I've got a programmatically changeable RGB uh, Ryzen Threadripper lamp. So this is a good way to put your Threadripper box to good use. Um, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.